Wow. And you may want to have some for New Year's, too. And you've just finished with Christmas, and now it's already time to plan another party to <sighs> celebrate the New Year. Well, don't worry. The folks at Festival make it easy on you. Our dietitian Lauren Tulig is back with us. Good morning. Good morning. Along with Wine and Spirits Manager, Bill Story. Good, good to see you both. Good, good morning. morning, Bill. Okay, well, Lauren, let's start with you because yeah. um, we had showed, we had talked about something called the towering T-bone. Yes. And that kind of got piqued my interest right there. So that's this big, big guy over here. Um, this is one of our signature meat items you can find in our meat case. Um, and it's a great item because you put it on the grill, 45 minutes is how long it takes. Oh. So it takes a while, but it's one of those things where you put it on the grill, medium high heat, but th shut it. I have it. to point out the picture on the grill because that thing is gigantic. <laughs> and you cook it standing up just like that. Oh. Which is very interesting, but you don't have to keep checking on it to, or oh. flip it or anything like Easy. that. So it's great for New Year's if you just put it on the grill. Maybe you're having some cocktails mm -hmm. or you're doing an appetizer or something like that, 45 minutes, and it's ready to go and it'll feed about two to three people. Oh. Okay. Lobster it's, is the perfect New Year's Eve food. What were you going to say about the it's steak, Bill? It's delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine coming with a big plate of that <laughs> coming out to the party. My yeah. Fancy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I love lobster on New Year's Eve, but I'm always intimidated to cook it. You guys have actually kind of taken the guesswork out of that, too. Yes. Yeah, so we have some quicker options, um, which is awesome. So this is our one-step prep program that we offer at Festival in our meat department. Um, so we have baking options and microwave options. So um, we have lobster tails that have the butter, the seasonings, everything already ready to go on it. You bake it in the oven. Um, this one is only 20 to 25 minutes, so super quick. And the one over here is a microwave option, so three to four minutes in the microwave. You put it in the microwave in these little bags right here, um, sure. and your lobster is done in three to four minutes. In case someone pops over, right? Well, microwave I just happen lobster. to have some lobster for you. Wow. Yeah, exactly. um, You guys also have some fabulous deli meals. Yeah. Once so, again, should we try to call this week ahead of time if we want one of those? And this stuff, actually, we just have on hand. So oh, okay. um, we don't have any meals that we're offering this week for New Year's. Um, um, but our prime rib, we are fully stocked in our prime rib, which is awesome. So these are heat and eat options, which are, again, great, especially if you're kind of experiencing that holiday hangover, you're tired, you don't yeah. have a lot of time to get ready for New Year's. Um, we have some grab-and-go options. So these are our famous um, twice-baked potatoes um, and then our roasted asparagus, too. So these are all things you could just grab from the deli and heat up at home, um, along with some of our fun appetizers, too. You have to have that for New Year's. Everybody yeah. likes to snack. It looks like he's ready to munch, aren't oh, you? Oh, I'm always ready to munch. <laughs> I need one hand for the taco dip and one hand for my champagne. You guys have yeah. really a wide variety of bubbly. Talk us through the options. We do, and what better way to pop in the new year than with some bubbly? Mm -hmm. But um, there's a lot of differences mm -hmm. in, in your sparkling wines, just like there's differences between Chardonnay and Cabernet. It's kind of the same thing when it comes to your, your bubbly and sparkling wines. So these are some of our more popular varieties at the store. Um, and guests have lots of questions about them in the aisles, and we're always willing to help. But these two right here, the Spumante and the Moscato de Asti, mm -hmm. are going to be a little sweeter options. Um, the Moscato grape, as, as mm -hmm. we were talking earlier, is, is a sweeter type grape, and that's what is used to make these. Um, goes very well with dessert and those, okay. those, those after all of this stuff type, type <laughs> yeah. things. Um, the next one here is called Brut. Um, that is another extremely popular uh, sparkling variety in the store, and it's going to be the driest of all, all the uh, okay. sparkling wines. Um, you're going to see another type called Extra Dry, and it's kind of misleading. Brood is actually drier than Extra Dry. Oh, so, wow. didn't know um, that. That's one of the questions we have a lot of. Sure. Prosecco, uh, this Lamarca Prosecco. Proseccos are really growing in popularity, especially around here. Extremely good in mimosas. Um, they have bigger bubbles than your, than your average sparkling wine, so they go really well with mimosas. We just read a story about how the bigger the bubbles, the better. Yeah, actually. yeah especially. And they're doing that mimosas. research. Sure. Yeah. yeah. This guy on the end's got like a tux on already. This does, here. yeah. He's got a little tux. He's looking good for the party. Um, and that is Moet Chandon, and that's your uh, a champagne. Um, champagne is generally going to be more expensive. It comes from the Champagne region in France, so it has a little bit of that luxury <laughs> aspect with it. Yeah. So. So I think a lot of people just call them all champagne, even yeah. though it's not all mm -hmm. champagne, right? Yep, exactly. You yeah. say, go pick up some champagne, but there is, there is differences between all of them. What are your tips for opening them? Do you have any? Because that's where I always cringe. I'm like, oh, brother. Take an eye out. Yeah, well, you don't want to go like this and <laughs> just pop it right Good out idea. Face. All right. So always aim it away. Okay. Um, Even at that person you wanted to leave her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a little tab here, so you, so okay. you pull that and twist off the metal mm -hmm. piece on yeah. it, point it away from you, not at a window or anything <laughs> like that either. So. I always put like a towel over yeah. it or yeah, something. Yeah, towel. Is that okay. Okay. Do it outside. With your, <laughs> with your other hand, hold your thumb over the cork as you're yeah. twisting. Okay. So. Yeah. 
Yeah. And what is the best one, do you think, for like a midnight toast? Is it the true champagne? I, yeah, I guess champagne would be the most popular. That's kind of uh -huh. more celebratory and, and generally more expensive. But yeah. really, it's it's to what your taste profile is and what you really like. They're all very good in their own way. So. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, we can get tips where? Lauren, where do we head for all of yes. the information we need from Festival? Um, we have videos on how to make lobster and some of our other options, um, as well as blog posts and all these items at festfoods.com. So we're here to help. Absolutely. All right. It's the, it's the place you go with you're ready or not, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They'll make you look like you are. Thanks to both of you and Happy New Year. Oh, Thanks, happy you New too. Year. Thanks for having us.